Now 2021, certainly a year to remember. We continue to look back at the year that was. Earlier this week, we focused on Surfside. If there was any other single story that dominated headlines and impacted our lives in 2021, it was the coronavirus pandemic. CBS 4's Hank Tester takes a closer look. When it came to the Florida COVID story in 2021, it'd be easy to say that COVID economics, politics, and policy discussions far outshined the ongoing medical struggle to save lives and prevent spread of the disease. Your right to earn a living should not be contingent upon COVID shots. The governor continued his fight to keep Floridians employed, working, opposing mandatory workplace requirements that employees be vaccinated and mandatory masks for school kids. Late November calling a special legislative session which approved legislation prohibiting employee COVID-19 vaccine mandates in the Sunshine State. The Santa signed into law preventing schools, local governments and businesses from enacting strict vaccination rules for employees or students, banning school districts from passing mask mandates. All this after a year of the governor sparring with school districts, cruise lines, county governments over mandated vaccinations and mandatory masks. Prior to the special session, Miami-Dade and Broward school districts opted for mask options for students. Students good with it, but many students told CBS4 they will continue to wear their mask. I believe in, in kind of still wearing masks despite any mandates or any optional um, kind of choice I have to take them off. If the situation like starts like clearly and like definitively heading in like a better direction, then yeah, I'd, I'd be confident in taking it off again. But earlier in the summer, COVID spiked in South Florida. According to the Florida Health Department, the positivity rate for all of Florida was 18.1%. In Broward, 14%. Miami-Dade hit 12.1%. Monroe County, 16.2%. And COVID-19 hospitalizations nearing the 2020 peak. 80 to 85% of those people who are hospitalized are unvaccinated. And 100% of the people in my ICU, in the intensive care unit, are unvaccinated. Meanwhile, the pandemic is far from over. And 2021 had a far different vibe. Florida theme parks were open, restaurants were full, bars were hopping, concerts were back. Yet amongst the optimism, the advent of the new normal, the COVID numbers piled up. Since March of 2020, Florida has recorded well over three and a half million COVID cases and close to 62,000 deaths. And once again, late in the year, COVID cases increased and South Florida kept a wary eye on the emerging Omicron variant. 2021 was a year of discovery, how to cope with the new normal. Yes, COVID and its variants still out there, but life went on. Floridians were out and about. Florida was open for business. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.